Hello my friends and welcome back to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. As always I am your hunting guide Jeff and today I'm down by the Mississippi River but I'm not at my normal beach. I'm actually up near a little town called Grafton, Illinois. I'm going to be walking the river road a little bit. I may check out my other spot but uh, today we're looking for fossils. I'm hoping to find some trilobites, some cronoid stems, maybe if I get really lucky a cephalopod, some little clams and whatnot. You've seen me in this area before, but uh, let's get looking around here, see if we can find anything good. And if so, I'll pop it up on camera and show you. Here we go. I found something right off the bat here. I'm going to try to get this out. I think this is a uh, geode. It could be a crinoid calyx. I'm not sure. So I'm going to get out my tools and I'm going to work on this. And if I get it out, I'll show you on cam. All right, there we go. Popped it out of the rock right out of there. Didn't take too long, maybe about two, three minutes. Bad boy's going in the bag. Let's keep looking. I may bust on this rock a little more, but uh, I'll come back to it. Let's keep looking this way. Well, I'm about 10 foot from where I knocked that nodule out. As I was coming down, I looked down and realized that this entire thing is just a death plate of crinoid stems. I hope you can see them on cam, but there's thousands if not millions of coronoid stems all through here. Some nice ones there. Decent there. Lots of little pieces. Pretty good little tiny one there. I'm gonna try to work on this rock a little bit, maybe pop off a piece. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. All right, I got them loose. These are gonna go in my bag. I'm uh, took them off right here. I'm gonna leave them here for the time being because I don't want to carry them and break them up. So let them sit there for a bit. Grab my tools. Head down the river just to touch more. I gotta come back this way anyhow. Well, guys, here's a heartbreaker. So as you can see right through here, and up through here. At one time, this whole area was one ginormous cephalopod. When I was a kid, we knew it was here, and then they built the visitor center. And sadly, I guess when they did that, it was destroyed. But I had to come and check one more time. It's been, been probably, gosh, 35 years since I've been up here. But yeah. It came all the way out to here. So, they're definitely in the area. Sadly, that one's not anymore. That's all right. I'll find something cool to show you guys on cam, I promise. Found some neat things so far. I'm sorry, truck went by. I found some neat things so far, but uh, yeah, I wanna find something cool for you guys today. And myself. All right, you guys, well, I made it to the bluff face and uh, it's a little warm. I'm like a big dummy, I left my water in the truck. So uh, using the help of a handy dandy rock right here that you can't see, I've uh, set my camera up and what I'm doing is I am digging through the scree field that's down here. So a lot less hammering, a little bit of easier work. I know I'll find something through here and uh, well, if I don't, I'll go down a little bit because that's my honey hole that always gives me some trilobites. But uh, anywho, I'm going to get back to work. All right, guys, I was starting to worry I want to find one, but there we go, right there, right at the tip of my thumb. It's a little bitty guy. I'll take this home and uh, see if I can't get him out a little more. He's a little beat up, but that's all right. I can work with that. Popped off of this thin layer right here. I decided to quit searching on the ground and I found any, so I'm going to keep looking in this area where there's one. There should be more. All right, guys, this is how it usually happens. I was getting tired. I was like, well, I'm going to head out in a second. I'm going to break off one more piece of rock. And I did. And I found a nice imprint. And I was like, where did that come from? So I stick it back up in there. And right there is Mr. Trilobite. Right over my fingers at. He's hard to see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get that out of there if I can. I might not be able to, but it looks like I got some decent cracks on the sides. So 
Wish me luck. If I get it out, you'll see it in the video. So it's not the one I'm going after, but uh, there's another one. So I'm breaking off rock here. You can see, I just gotta chip this out, and he's right there. This may be hard to do. This may not be done today, but we'll find out. All right, you guys. I've worked on him for about an hour. He's gonna stay there. I know where he's at, though. I'll come back up here with better tools, maybe a sledge, and I'll get that out. This rock here, I'd love to take it out too because I'm seeing things in it. But anywho, next time you'll see me, I'll be back at the house and we'll see what goodies I found today. I'm home. I made it back from my trilobite hunt up in Grafton and who buddy do I have some humdingers to show you guys. So these three here, I've already popped out of their matrix for the most part. This one I actually had to repair. A little bit of super glue, no big deal. Super glue fixes fossils the world over. But what I have over here is some that I haven't taken out of the matrix yet. You see that little guy's head sticking right out right there. And I got another one who's living right there. Over here on this rock somewhere in there. I'll have to find it again. And then this one has a trilobite. Gosh dang it, I lost it again. Okay, well, these four have trilobites in them. And I'm going to take them out of the rock like I did here. That's going to be a second video. I want to show you guys how I clean my trilobites, how I get them out. It may not be the right way. I'm not a professional, but do a pretty darn good job of getting them out. So stay tuned for part two of the trilobites. Uh, it'll probably be next week, even though I shot this one last week and I'm about to do my geode video. The trilobites will be, yeah, just trust me, it's YouTube magic. Well guys, that's it for the video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed us finding some uh, trilobites. And uh, as always, we hope we get a like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you the next time we're out hunting rocks.